Life on Earth comes in an astonishing array of shapes and sizes, but hidden within the pages of our planet's history are creatures so strange, it's almost unbelievable that they once existed. In part one, we uncovered some of the remarkable oddities that emerged from the animal kingdom. Now, let's delve even deeper into the fascinating fossil record to explore more of these extraordinary creatures. The Opabinia is a creature so strange it is easy to believe it had an extraterrestrial origin. It emerged during the Cambrian period, a time that saw tremendous changes in life, from unicellular forms to multicellular forms with shells and skeletons. Discovered in the Burgess Shale fossil deposits of Canada in the early 20th century, Opabinia stood out immediately. Unlike anything seen before or since, this creature boasted five eyes, which were perched on stalks, giving it a wide field of vision. But the oddities didn't stop there. Opabinia also had a long, flexible trunk ending in a claw-like structure, which it likely used to grasp prey and bring food to its mouth. This creature, which measured only a few inches long, swam through the ancient seas with a series of flaps along its body. Its peculiar design has led scientists to puzzle over its place in the tree of life. Initially, Opabinia was so strange that it was difficult to classify. It didn't fit neatly into any known group of animals. Some paleontologists even questioned whether it might represent a completely unique branch of life that has no living descendants. Today, Opabinia is often viewed as an early relative of arthropods, the group that includes insects, spiders, and crustaceans, though it remains a subject of debate and fascination. With its bizarre and distinctive appearance, Stethicanthus stood out as one of the most unusual creatures to ever patrol the ancient seas. This cartilaginous fish lived during the late Devonian to early Carboniferous periods, around 360 million years ago. The most striking characteristic of Stethicanthus was its peculiar dorsal fin, which resembled a flat, anvil-like structure rather than the sleek, pointed fins we associate with today's sharks. This spinebrush complex was covered in tiny tooth-like structures called denticles, giving it a rough, brush-like surface. To add to the oddity, Stethicanthus also had a similar patch of denticles on its head, which has led scientists to speculate about the purpose of these unique adaptations. One of the leading theories is that the unusual dorsal fin and head patch played a role in mating rituals or dominance displays. The strange appearance of the spinebrush complex may have made Stethicanthus more attractive to potential mates or intimidating to rivals. Alternatively, some scientists have suggested that the fin could have served as a defense mechanism, making the shark appear larger or more threatening to predators. Another intriguing idea is that the denticles on the fin might have had a role in cleaning or scraping parasites off the shark's body. Its fossil remains, primarily found in North America and Europe, offer a glimpse into a time when the seas were teeming with life, much of which bore little resemblance to the creatures we know today. Sacabambaspes is a fascinating and somewhat overlooked creature from the depths of Earth's ancient past, representing a pivotal moment in the evolution of vertebrate life. One of the most intriguing aspects of Sacabambaspes is its status as one of the earliest known vertebrates, meaning it was among the first creatures to have a backbone, or at least the beginnings of one. Sacabambaspes had a distinctive look, with a broad, shield-like head covered in bony plates. These protective plates, along with its long, tapering body, gave it a somewhat armored appearance, a feature that was crucial for survival in the ancient seas. Unlike modern fish, Sacabambaspes had no jaws. Instead, it likely fed by sucking up tiny particles of food from the ocean floor or filtering them from the water. Despite its seemingly simple design, Sacabambaspes was a pioneer in its time. It represents an early experiment in vertebrate evolution showing how life was beginning to develop the structures that would eventually give rise to more complex forms. These extraordinary animals represent the crazy experiments of nature that were necessary in the long, arduous journey of life to bring about the finely tuned creatures we observe in the present day. 
Join us next time in our quest to find out more amazing examples of nature's creativity.